Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan or Guitar Gear Gyan as Robert Dungeon likes to call my channel. Uh, we talk about everything related to the Indian guitar gear scene but today we answer the question, the brilliant question that nobody asked. Is it that a guitar with paint on it sounds different from a guitar without paint? Before we get into this mad experiment, before we unlock the secrets of the tonal universe, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. So I've got this guitar from Siddharth at Sound Glitz. Uh, he's, it's on loan. Uh, we've done the uh, F280 and F8, FS80 comparison and then we've done the F310 and the uh, F280 comparison and now we do the F310 versus the F310 with paint on it. Yeah. So now you may ask, who painted this? Well, I was going to buy uh, a Squire Blackie, a Black Strat, and um, this guy had this guitar and I was like, okay, that's a F310 and I got a good deal on it. And then I realized that um, a lot of work to remove the paint, so I just left it on there. I'm probably going to sell it, but it looks kind of cool, looks kind of interesting. And a lot of people, uh, when I did list it for sale, put over there, oh, you've ruined the sound completely. The sound is completely going to get smashed. There's nothing going to come. There's going to be no sustain. There's going to be no musical tonal value on this instrument anymore. You've killed it. You've murdered it. So then it made me ask the question, did I really get a guitar that has been murdered by paint? So, well, we're going to find out. Now we're going to use the same playthrough as we did last week um, with this baby. So I'm just going to mic up this one using the large diaphragm SEX1 mic. I'm going to use the P170 AKG at the 12th fret. Uh, it's a pencil condenser mic. I'm going to do some finger picking stuff, some strumming and some soloing like we did last week. Compare both of them. Let's get to the playthrough.
So that was the playthrough. Another thing to add, you may, might say, oh man, but this is a painted guitar. This has got older strings. This has got older bridge pins. Well, for the playthrough, what I did was I removed the same strings from this guitar. I removed the same saddle from this guitar and the same bridge pins and I put them onto this. Okay. So there's no excuse of, oh, the material is different. It's older strings. It's definitely going to sound different. It's the same strings. It's the same uh, saddle. It's the same bridge pins. The nuts, the, not the same, of course, but I mean, the material is the same on both, so it shouldn't make much of a difference. Um, yeah, uh, other than that, um, what did I hear in the room? Let me know what you heard in the playthrough, first of all. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In the room, what I found was this was slightly more muffled. That would make a lot of sense because, you know, it's the same concept with, uh, uh, you know, a laminate top or a solid top. When you have a solid top, basically the waveform has to go through only one piece of wood. Whereas if you have a laminate uh, top, then you've got, you know, two or three pieces of wood glued on top of each other. So the, the waveform has to go through the wood, then through, you know, uh, the glue, then through the wood again. So you're adding more layers, therefore you're killing sustain, therefore you're killing a little bit of the tone, maybe, you know, the volume difference also as well. Um, yeah, so sustain and volume are the two things that I thought of would be majorly different. Um, I did notice uh, uh, this was a bit more muffled than this one, just marginally, but not something in the sense that it killed the tone, you know. So, um, of course, in terms of sustain, what we're going to do now is I'm going to play a simple G chord on both these guitars, okay. I want to see uh, which one sustains longer. Let's get to the G chord playthrough. So yeah, you could see this one sustain, you know, a bit longer. This one, of course, is a little less in terms of the volume. One more thing I noticed about, um, you know, this guitar is since uh, the, this person used water-based paints, uh, there's a bit of swelling at the bottom, you know, below the bridge. So that's definitely affecting tone. So that does play a difference in terms of the intonation because the bridge is somewhat uh, not against the body. It's slightly raised. So, yeah, I mean, that's not ideal. I will probably have to get that fixed and that will probably ruin the paint job. But if someone wants to buy this just as a showpiece, then definitely, uh, you know, this is worth it. Um, in terms of paint affecting tonality, marginally. But my suggestion is that if you do use the paint on top of the lacquer, then use another layer of lacquer, of course, which they have not done to protect the paint so that your masterpiece lasts forever. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one. Uh, probably sell it. If I have to keep it, then I'll have to rework and remove all the paint and uh, set the bridge again properly. But yeah, I mean, as a showpiece, it's quite, it's quite interesting. So does paint affect tone? Yes, but not by much. <laughs> 